Have you heard about a new degree that's available to Japanese students? In university? Yes. They can do ninja studies. Ninja, don't do the voice. Ninja news! <laughs> well, this doesn't, this guy doesn't look much like a fucking ninja. What? He's chopping what? a bit of wood. It's not lumberjacking. Have you heard about the whole ninja power um, equation thing where there's, if there's like multiple ninjas, they're really weak, but one ninja, incredibly strong. So if there's like, so the idea is that a ninja shares power with other ninjas <clears throat> in the area. Right. So if there's a stack of ninjas, they're all much, much weaker until they get paired down to like one ninja then he's very strong on his own. That makes sense from everything I've seen from the movies. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, it's not all about assassination. I even like ninjas. They're cool. Like shurikens and those little forks. Which do, which do you like better? <laughs> do you like pirates? <laughs> do you like zombies? <laughs> do you like robots or do you like ninjas? So yeah, being a ninja, it's not all about... Chopping wood. No, it's not. Well, no, it is about chopping wood. That's Master the point. Master student Genichi Mitohashi, 45. So he's, he's a 45 year old man. Yeah. And he's only just qualified as a ninja. Is that right? Well, I think he's the one that teaches people to be ninjas. I feel like being 45 <laughs> is past it as a ninja. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. Nin you want like a fucking 87 year old ninja teaching you shit. I don't know. And he's got the longest, whitest fucking beard you've ever seen. I don't think they're ninjas seen. anymore. Like, I think ninjas have to be, you have to pull away the mask and be sexy. No, being a ninja isn't all about Killing people and being beautiful, okay? It's not really about being beautiful at all, I just added that in my own brain. It's about cultivating rice and vegetables. On the land. Ninjas worked as farmers in the morning and trained in martial arts in the afternoon. And in the evening, they made love. <laughs> <laughs> he attended a graduate school three times a week and wrote a thesis on how ninja managed mountain forests. So he was just l learning how to farm on the side of a mountain, <laughs> seems to be. So I feel like that's not really what I see as the spirit of a ninja. You know, where was all the running over rooftops and jumping from building to building? No, first of all, you've got to uh, farm the trees, then chop the trees down, then build the building, put the roof on the building, and then you have to do that all over again with another building next door, and only then can you jump from rooftop to rooftop? I see, it's like a training program. It's like a montage. Because building those buildings makes you really strong. Yeah. Which is what ninjas are known for. I think they put their points in decks rather than strength. Yeah, I would have thought yeah. so too. Um, so maybe the builders aren't ninjas. So who are the builders then? Feels like there's a lot missing from this. I'm confused. This is why we need ninja studies, honestly. And I, for one, applaud you, the idea you gonna enroll? of going three times a week You've already got as a 45-year-old man. I've already got the top knot. You've got the top knot. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to do that? I think it's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. It's just a little tune. So, Lewis, mm -hmm. have you heard about the hot, new, the hot news? Hot news? The hot new news. The hot nude news, I should the say. The hot nude new news. The story is there were two women that were drowning. Oh God. Off the, the coast of Cornwall. Wow. And there was a woman who was nude. She's an, a naturist. Excellent. And she witnessed the two women. Ah, ah. And well, then the third, a third, a third woman gone. came by. Right. I'm very confused. Who was apparently part of the family. She dives in to help her two relatives. Who are drowning. She starts drowning. Of course. And then it's left up to our, our fully hero. nude hero, Jessica Layton of Cornwall. Sounds like a sexy name. She was sunbathing sans top. Sans top. That means without top. That's in French. French. Yeah. There's a thing about people drowning. Right. You don't, it, they don't, it's not obvious that they're drowning. It's really, it's an interesting thing because lifeguards are trained to look out for people because those people who are splashing and look at flailing around they're aren't drowning. They're having fun. They're doing great. Yeah. But people who are like actually drowning are aren't like moving. People, so it's, it's quite, a, quite a unique identifier. It's unusual. Okay. So she was able to tell that because she was like, I'm in touch with my nature, nature. And she saved all three of them. Did she bring them back one by one or just in a big crowd? I imagine it was one thing, by one. The other thing that's bad <laughs> is that you can get pulled under if you're not careful. 
you know? Right. So it's quite dangerous. So a lot of people it's die. You don't, get, you don't want to get pulled under by a naked woman. A lot of people dive in to try woman. and save someone, and then they, I don't, exactly. Yeah. I've never had it happen. I've never had it happen. And I never want to. No. Um, Heaven forbid. <laughs> <laughs> if I was drowning, I'd want to be saved by a topless woman, though, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't care. As long as right. someone saves me. I see. No, yeah, that does make yeah. sense. But I think anything, you could say it for anything. Like, if I'm hungry, I want to be fed by a topless woman. If I've hurt my knee, I'd like it to be bandaged by a topless woman. Okay. Is that... No, no, you can do that on the National Health. Oh. You can go private for that one. Are there any situations that wouldn't be made better by having it done by a topless woman? Is that what I'm saying? what I'm saying. Imagine any bad situation. Is there any solution where a topless woman does not improve that situation? I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm floating in space. Yeah. I've drifted away from the International Space Station. Oh, it's like the movie Gravity. Yeah. Okay. And don't worry, out of the airlock, the voice of a disembodied topless woman who's already dead, spoiler for the movie Gravity, is talking to you in your head. Even if she wasn't there in person, yeah. just saying, Lewis, I'm topless. Don't worry, you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that I'm, somehow I'm on a plane. The pilots died, he ate the fish. Co-pilots died, hey, he ate the fish. Oh. I'm fine, I had the chicken. Okay. And the stewardess comes up, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? And I played some, you know, F-117A on the PC uh, 25 years ago. So I know what I'm doing. I would struggle because I do need the cardboard thing that you lay over the keyboard that says <laughs> Tells hockey. you where all the stuff is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Make those so without that, I'll be in trouble. But I'm on the radio. I'm like, hello, I need help over. And then I hear do a sultry voice. Oh, don't worry, we've got another woman in the cabin who- Do a who sultry ate... voice! No, this is the ground control! Do a sultry- I'm not doing- oh. There's another woman in the cabin who didn't eat the fish either. She's coming to help you. Well, why doesn't she fly the fucking plane she then? She doesn't have to She's fly. an expert. She's just topless. And how do you know that She's on the ground? And I don't know that. <laughs> when the fucking stewardess said, is there anyone on board? Why did the woman let me go forward? The stewardess is now topless. She thinks it will help. Oh my God. It's helping. <laughs> it's helping. We've got lift! <laughs> Just useful to give Alex more of that to work with. Lewis, have you heard about the invading... Cicadas? That may turn into sex-crazed zombies this summer. Um... Millions of... Cicadas. Cicadas. I'm here, don't worry. Are making a joyous debut after 17 years underground. Except those whose butts and genitals have been eaten by a fungus. <laughs> what an unnecessary little... <laughs> what an odd... Oh, Ew. there we go. So, cicadas, obviously. Romeo there. They're, they make that lovely cr crickety noise. Like that. Yeah, it's like the sound of the ocean. Yeah, it's, it's just very, like that. It's very relaxing. Calming. <laughs> Calming. <laughs> Calming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure they're pests, but I didn't think they were like those. They're not like the crick, the um, monster mutant crickets that eat locusts that eat everything, right? No, they're just they're cute. I don't know if that's the right word. They're not really cute. Little I don't. Bugs. I don't think I've ever really seen them. They're always hidden in little bushes, making noise. So this is going to be. The what? summer of the cicada. I'll learn, <laughs> I'll learn. But the cicada summer is here. Millions of them are emerging across Virginia, West Virginia and North Carolina after hibernating underground for 17 years. Right. So why were they underground for so long, Lewis? What was it that happened 17 years ago? 9-11. Oh no, that was... <laughs> that was 90. <laughs> um, oh, it says that it's, it's something to do with predator avoidance or some bullshit. <laughs> the problem is that being underground so long leaves them vulnerable to a hallucinogenic fungus that turns them into sex-crazed zombies. 
So they're sex crazed even though they've had their butts eaten and their genitalia eaten off. So the fungus grows inside of them. It causes their abdomen to just fall off. What? And then... So what, are they just a head? And legs? A head and legs, like Rayman. Oh shit, yeah. Well, I mean, they still make the noise, I guess, because that's from the wings rubbing together, right? Or is it the legs that rub together? Oh, I don't it's fucking know. Things. I don't know enough about them. This, ar this article is not helping us with, our, with anything. We've got a quote here from a scientist from West Virginia University, who's a researcher, who says that they are flying salt shakers of death. What are we supposed to do with that information? I've learned nothing from that. Why are they a salt shaker? Because they they shake around because they, they're mad with lust and spores fly out. Fucking what? Oh, and they make the shaky noise. The fung... No, they don't make the shaky noise. They, they're made to wiggle and the wiggling causes the spores that are inside of them, the fungus, to just fly around and infect other things. What things? Other cicadas? Cicadas? Chicanas? How the fuck have I not learned how to pronounce it? Also, it's How like many times have I said cicadas. cicada? First, first of all, isn't there a classic like thing where you make a bad joke and then you say, oh, cicadas? You know, where, where it's Crickets. Met. People say crickets. Because we have crickets in this country. Uh. We don't have cicadas in this country, which is why I never learned at school or growing up or in the last 42 years how to pronounce well, the word cicada. Well, maybe we'll cicada. get some now. I can only hope. I can only hope, Lewis. Yeah, if that we get millions of sex it's crazed. The summer of fungus. Zombie cicadas. cicadas. Salt shaking their jizzy fungus yeah. to eat your balls all over the fucking place. Fortunately, there have not been any reports of zombie cicadas yet. Then what's the fucking point in that? What's the close, article about? Close that. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> Well, what? They, what? Were they just making that all up? Why did what? you pick this article? Did they, did they just make it up? You like, read oh, this. of course we don't know that this has ever fucking happened. They're just pulling it out of their ass. I feel less... Fake news. I feel like I've just been made dumber by that whole thing. As everyone probably also feels if they watch this show. Animal news. Ah! <laughs> we'll cut that. Don't worry. I don't know what animal that was. <laughs> it was a Simon. <laughs> we got a Simon on the loose. Animal control. Don't worry. Get his dad. <laughs> Bring a top to <laughs> <laughs>